Let's look at another example. We're just looking at angles for a moment. You might need to take a moment and study this, but we want to find the measure of angle ABC. So first, of course, find angle ABC. A, B, C. Well, basically, we're given that the measure of angle ABC is 15 degrees, so that's not bad. Written right here. Now, still study this, and let's find the measure this time of angle DBA. So take a moment and find angle DBA. DBA. All right, there's DBA. What does this angle measure? It measures 50 degrees plus 15 degrees. 50 degrees plus 15 degrees which is 65 degrees. So that angle measures 65 degrees. A little bit about finding the sum of degree measures of angles. And now let's look at something special about parallel lines cut by what we call a transversal. If two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then the measures of corresponding angles are equal, and the measures of the alternate interior angles are equal. Let's talk about corresponding angles and alternate interior angles as we look at this figure, and we are given that, I'll write it in symbols, what does that mean? we are given that this line and this line are parallel. Line M is parallel to line N. I want to find the measure of angle X, the measure of angle Z, and the measure of angle Y. First, what do we mean by corresponding angles? Well, X and Z are corresponding angles, and Y and this angle measuring 46 degrees, those are corresponding angles. They're basically in the same place with each uh, parallel line. And also, what do we mean by alternate interior angles? Interior, these four angles, I'm going to call this A and B, but I'm not interested in finding their angle measure. A, B, Z, and Y are what we call interior angles. And then alternate interior angles, that would be A and Y. They alternate, but they're interior angles. And B and Z are alternate interior angles. I do know that A and Y have the same measure. B and Z have the same measure. But I'm interested in finding the measure of angle X, Y, and Z. I'm going to write a shortcut notation. The measure of angle X is equal to and then the measure of angle Y is equal to, and the measure of angle Z. Let's find those measures. Now, you should immediately know the measure of angle Y. Y and this angle are corresponding angles. They have the same measure, so that is 46 degrees. What about, say, X and 46 degrees? Those two angles form a straight angle whose measures is 180 degrees, so the measure of angle X is 180 degrees minus 46 degrees, and that is 134 degrees. And then if I know the measure of angle X, it's the same as the measure of angle Z because they are corresponding angles, so that is 134 degrees also. All right, at this time, Practice working with lines and angles.